G'day, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be something a bit different. We've had this request um, quite a bit. So we're gonna run you through how to build a Taranaki gate. One of the ones I've been using on the farm here, they were on the farm when we arrived. So they're like a cam lock, uh, all steel. Yeah, so I've got bits laid out here. So it comes in four pieces. We've got uh, the base at the bottom that the leg fits into. We've got the main piece with the handle on it. And then you've got the hook there that goes on the top and then on the post side that's connected to the post you've also got uh, this here where your netting fits through and then one of these gudgeons will fit through there and go on to the post so um, there'll be a cut list in the description of this video of all the different measurements and bits and pieces that we use uh, yeah so we'll get to, I've cut everything out so I've got all the bits and pieces where we'll get to welding all that up get it sorted and then uh, I'll show you how to install it as well so full video full how-to um, yeah hopefully it's helpful let's get into it so first things first let's build the main part so that's this that's the handle um, I've got a couple of options here for the handle. So if you've got a pipe bender, or you can access some bent 90 degree angle pipe. That's what we've got there. So we're 200 mils from the bottom to the middle of the bend or the top of the bend there. And we're 400 mils from there to there. Uh, here's another option. So I just used a couple of pieces of gelf pipe that I had lying around that's been threaded. So it's a good use for uh, all those bits and pieces you've been <laughs> Of, uh, storing away and um, you can use them now so just a just like that if you don't have a pipe bender or what you could do is just have two pieces of pipe 200 mil long 400 mil long weld them together be a 90 degree angle we've seen that in some other farms as well so the next piece for the uh, for an handle we've got our we've got our top handle piece and then what we want to do is grab a piece of flat bar so these are actually just uh, flat standards you see them quite a lot here in New Zealand so what we want to do is that gets welded on like that. The dimensions of this is, um, I think they're 30 mil, yeah, 30 mil wide by five or six mil thick. And these pieces are about 75 mil long. So two of them, uh, one will go at the top of, one will go at the top of your main pipe like so, one will go up the bottom, but we'll, yeah, we'll weld those three pieces together and um, show you the, the last couple of bits on the handle part. Tack there. Right, so we've got these two pieces tacked, uh, parallel or on the same mangle, <laughs> whatever you call it. So we'll weld them up. So now we've got our main bar, uh, two tabs welded on each end, like so. We're gonna put it back in the vise, weld the, the foot on, uh, which is, where is it? 25 mil pipe, uh, 70 mil long. So that just gets welded on like so. I've got the fan gun here just to take some of that galvanizing away. Ground most of it off, but you never quite get 100% off, so pretty horrible stuff. Right, so there's our pipe. It's got the foot on, main pipe, two tabs, we'll do the handle. Uh, so the handle's probably the trickiest bit out of this whole design to get right. So if we've got that sitting flat against the concrete, that is how high uh, that top of that handle is off the ground. So I think that's probably the best way to show you guys what the offset is. So what I did to work out this is if we have this pipe here sitting just like that on there, 
and it's 260 mils. I'll show you on this one. Between the bottom of that and the ground. So you see these pipes, these flat plates here sitting flat on the ground. Yeah, 260 mils. So that's the offset uh, that you need to make the lever work and to make it self-lock when it's locked in uh, and the Taranaki gate's tight. Uh, so we've got that in the vise ready to weld. There's our mark. Mark there, mark on the bottom. That's the offset. You can see straight through there. Hopefully that works. So there we've got our handle welded on. That's the angle there, offset. Uh, last thing we've got to do is just weld on a support stay which helps it lock in when it um, is fully locked. So I'll show you on this one. It's just this here. That bit there. Oh, can't really see. We'll find some light. There you go. That bit there. So it's just a piece of 10mm rod. It's about, what did I write down? It's about 190 mils long. So I do have a piece of square square rod here doesn't have to be obviously doesn't have to be round um, and it's going to come from it's going to come from the left hand side straight up onto the top uh, just like that as you can see so we'll weld this on and I'll show you properly so just before I weld this we'll mark it and grind away the gelve off this pipe um, so it needs to be cut about there. And we need to grind some galv off. Give us a good weld in there. All right, so we've got a handle all welded up. I'll just, uh, I'll just show you this again. So if we push this down, have that, both of these pieces sitting on the ground. So the handle part sticking up in the air. 20, 25, 250, 260 mils is the angle, so we're sweet. That's the old one, that's the new one. Handle's done. Now off to the bottom and the top that join the handle onto the post and make the cam lock action. Right, next step of this gate process is doing the latch. So what we're gonna make is one of these. As you can see there, so what we've got is a big washer. And it is, uh, these ones here, we'll find it, uh, catch. Washer is 80 mils on the outside, 39 mils on the inside, that hole there, and it's about four mil, three mil, four mil thick. And then a piece of pipe, 20 mil pipe by 90 mil long. So I'll show you what we do here. So what we want to do is bend this washer over. So we set it up in the vise. So it's about, actually, let's draw a line. Draw a line halfway through. About there. Set it up in here. We'll get some heat. Right, so bend it over as far as you can. Pull it out of the vise, and then we've just got to finish the bend. Try and chuck it back in the vise. Oh, that's not going to work. The vise is broken. Without burning my hand, I'll do it that way. Let's work it, squeeze it together. So what we're left with is a piece like that, just the washer bent over. And what we want to do is weld it on so it sits like that. So there we go, there's the latch piece. Just let that cool, move on to the bottom part. So this is what we're making to put the foot of the cam lock uh, gate in. So it's two pieces of pipe. One 90 mil long, so this is a, a 25 piece, 25 mil piece of pipe. This one's 50 mil long, 
and it is um, it is 40 mil in diameter. So you just need to make sure that you can put the bottom of the other one inside here. Because that's what helps it, well, that's what holds it when you use the cam action. So we'll weld these together. So there's our next piece done. You want to have it so it sits on the top. So how it works is this sits on the bottom of the post. This comes in here, sits on the top. So you need that to be able to swing around, that bottom piece. So you kind of want the top of your bigger piece of pipe flush with the bit that'll go into the post. That makes sense. Right, last piece to weld up is the end. You can do, do the end in a couple of different ways. You can either just have a piece of batten and wire it onto the post or something like that. This is uh, the one that was on the gates that I've taken this design off. So what happens is, uh, what happens is we use a piece of gudgeon, a bit of a gudgeon to go through there and, um, and then use that to, to be the other end of the gate. Uh, lets it swing easy, means it'll last for a really long time. So the, the pieces of pipe you use, so I'm using 25 mil galve pipe and they just fit over top of my gudgeon like so. Um, if you're using smaller gudgeons like this 20mm one, you can just use a smaller piece of pipe. And you kind of want to do it so there's a pin lock on one of them, just stop them coming out. So I think I've cut these at uh, the 25mm piece of pipe, they cut at 50mm each. They just slip over there and you can still put your pin in. So we'll weld these on. And one thing we need to do actually is depending on what type of gudgeon you're using, uh, we might need to weld on a spacer. So for this one here, if you have your pipe sitting hard up against there like that, it's not actually going to turn. You need a spacer in there. So if you're using these type of gudgeons with a lip on the bottom there, unless you grind that off, um, you need a spacer. So if you just got a wee off cut of steel like that, which will work for now, to weld this on, uh, and then weld our pipe to that. So there are all our pieces made up, uh, let's go and install it. All you need now is some bolts, like this here, that will fit through your post and through uh, your two pieces, top and bottom, like so. Uh, and then some washers and bits and pieces, so I'll show you what we've got here. We've got a bolt, a washer to go on the end there. That goes through there, that'll go into the post, and then you've got your nut for the other end. Uh, maybe another washer as well, so you need two of them. So I've just tied the end on to this netting uh, before we go out and install it. What I like to do is actually drill a hole, as you can see there. There's a hole drilled in, so it's top and bottom. Um, that just helps the netting keep in place and make sure it doesn't slide off the top or off the bottom. Uh, with the other end, it won't matter because we've got these cams here these pieces here so they're not going to slide off. Right back here, or back here, down here, we got our post rammed yesterday, you saw that, just a quick snippet. I uh, did a stay, got another stay to do there, another one to do there, it's going to come up to here. So this is the area we're putting forestry, uh, this gate's not going to get used a heck of a lot. There shouldn't be any stock pressure on this side because it'll be in trees. This side, uh, there will be stock pressure. So this Taranaki gate will fit perfectly in here. Right, we'll, uh, we'll get to it. So first things first, remember I, uh, I wired that onto the netting. So we're just using this, um, what are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight wire netting uh, for our gate. So what I might do is put the hinge side on there put the latch side on here, um, yeah, should work fine. What we want to do is grab our bits and pieces, so they go over that side, two latches, there you go there, we've got our gudgeons, these two here, one with a pin lock through it, uh, I need to find the right, the right, drill bit, 
that one there, that there, use that to start it, and the drill, there it is, so we want that, where's my marker pen, marker crayon, so between the wires, make it so it's going to be easily on and off, not too high off the ground, about there, just put a mark there, and a mark there, Right, we'll get to drilling. So do a pilot hole with this. Make sure we're in line with the fence. So just using this other drill bit. Just to make a bit of a pilot hole to get the gudgeon started. So we'll, yep, that's your right. So another trick, put a wee bit of grease on the threads of the gudgeon, these screw-in ones, makes them screw in easier. So you can, uh, it's pretty hard work when they're dry and hard. So we'll give it a whack, start it off. This is the pin, lock through one. Right, there we are there. So you can either use an old gudgeon off a wooden gate to wind it in with the uh, with the grease makes it pretty easy but we've got this here so from gold pine we've got this tool on the impact and that'll wind it in for us if it fits might not fit on this one no, it doesn't. There we go. And they don't work on these old, these old gudgeons. So we'll chuck some grease on there. Give that a start. Try and get them the same distance out from the post for now. We can always change it later on. There you go. Now we'll put our netting on. Let's that on. Now we'll do a latch end. Right, so for this end, we've got our bit that we welded up that the uh, host, the latch will go to, latch, keep calling it a latch, will go to on the bottom. So there it is there. So that needs to sit about there. Uh, I think so, we'll just test fit it. Yep, that gives us plenty of room at the top of the post to do our other end. Right, we're all the way through. Put our bolt through, put our end on, and a washer, and a nut. Right, we'll mark out this end. So if that goes in there like that, you wanna make sure your two ends two pieces of pipe where you put your bolt through are on the same side. So if we put that one through about, about there, about what, 50 mil off the bottom of this. So we sit that in about there. Put this one in, through from the back. Give it a whack. It's a coach bolt, that one, so a wee bit different. this on, Ooh, we've just got enough length, so that's good, alright give that a bit of a tighten up, a 
Cool, so there is our handle. That's all done. So last piece of the puzzle, we'll bring the netting over and cut it and wrap it to this bit when it's uh, when it's just uh, unlocked like that and then when you lock it it'll strain it right up make it super tight so we want to be hmm, we probably want to be about there Take that. I'm going to take this upright off. Bit of a pain, but it'll only take a minute. Good pair of wire cutters, essential for this when you're doing netting. These are strain right ones. These we red wire cutters. Those there. They're kind of exactly like the Nipex ones, but just about half the price. The other pair that I use are a Belcho pair as well, Barco. Um, they're really good as well. So we'll wrap these around. Like so, start off with the second. Just kind of make, pull it, make it as tight as you can. And we'll get them, we'll get them kind of all kinked over a little bit before we start doing our wraps. I'll just do a couple of kinks on these. So make a handle out of your end of your wire, bring it under or over. One wrap over. I'll do that on a few of them and then we'll just test it. go wind off the rest of them so we're just going doing two or three wraps and then we can just snap it off I'll bring you in and show you close up how we do that. So we've got our wire through, bring it around, make a handle, like that there, and then we can just do one, two, three wraps. And then what you want to do is just bring the bring the handle back towards you, rotate it around, alongside the wire, snap, makes it nice and clean. Right, so as you can see, I'll show you from the top here how it works. So this is the action as we close it, it tightens up. Oh, she's tight. So there we go. All nice and Firm, nice and tight, it's good. What we might do is just kink this top one over a little bit. So it makes, use up some of the slack in the fence of the netting, just like so. Straighten out these uprights of the netting, make it look all pretty. Very good. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Can't really see it on the camera. 
it is the latch end all nicely there. I might actually loosen it off a bit. It's um yeah, it might be a bit too tight. But no. So hopefully that helps. Um, pretty awesome Taranaki gate setup. The best that I've seen anyway. Uh, pretty easy to build, like had all the gear ready, you can build that, weld it up in half an hour or so. Um, yeah, and pretty easy to install as well. So, oh, last thing, we've got some merch up on the store. So links in the description. We've got hats, singlets, t-shirts. Uh, we've also got pink hats. So a few ladies out there that like a bit of pink. There's a couple of them up there as well. Some dog whistles. Uh, soon to have some honey lozenges. So uh, one of the local guys here. And try and sell some seconds through the shop as well. So look out for that. But um, yeah, we'll leave, leave this video here. Got a wee bit more fencing to do to finish this off. But um, Taranaki Gate, all done. Beauty. Oh, last thing is you can put a barbed wire on top if you want to. Which, yeah, may or may not do. We'll see. Right, catch you later.